you uh, got a chance to go around the racetrack. So I did. How was that? <clears throat> Really interesting. That's the first time I've done that. Did you go in a, in the car full in, speed? In the car? Well, I guess as full speed as it would go. <laughs> it was fast enough for me. But uh, you get on that bank and it's about a 24 degree drop, and we stopped at the top of the bank, and that was that was pretty interesting. But it's amazing. They said that Kyle Busch got it going 202 last year on the on the, on the one turn. That's it's hard to imagine how, how fast he must have been going with 39 other cars on the track. Yeah. But it was a lot of fun. Kerry Tharp's a good friend of mine. And, and I really appreciate him, him allowing me to do that. Did it scare you? No, I was all right. I kind of like fast. So the adrenaline rush. Yeah, it? it was good. Yeah. <clears throat> Coach, you've been on these trips with uh, Barton, Coach Staley. Kind of, what have you learned from them? They've built their programs in Columbia. Kind of, what have you learned? Kind of trying to build yours. Well, I think you know you, you can come into some a similar, somewhat situation where the programs were when they inherited their situations, and uh, obviously they've built a great culture and character within their organizations. I said. In Rock Hill, you look at what Don Staley accomplished. She lose Elena Coates, who's a great player, right before the tournament, and she's able to win the national championship. And I think you credit that back to culture uh, of your program. Uh, you know, and we lose in the first round of the, uh, the SEC tournament against Alabama in men's basketball, and everybody's doomsday around the Gamecock Nation, and, and then you're able to make a Final Four run because you've got some character in your program. So uh, that, that's a great example for our, our program, and, uh, and certainly uh, – those two coaches have done a fantastic job, and I consider both of them good friends. You put a lot of emphasis on in-state recruiting since you come here. Why do you feel like that's important? Well, I think it's important to put that block C on, on your helmet, and, and it, you take a little bit more pride, you know, playing at the University of South Carolina. That that's really important. We have really good players in our state. We have really good high school coaches in our state that develop players. Football's a developmental game. Um, so I think all of those things are really important, but unfortunately, because of the size of our state population-wise, there's not always going to be enough of those guys. So we've got to do a great job in North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. That's our footprint, and that's where we're going to uh, spend our time evaluating players. I know these events are about the fans and thanking them and all that, but but does this help with recruiting too to come to different areas of the state like this? Well, I enjoy it. I you know I don't know if it helps in recruiting, but I enjoy getting out and seeing the Gamecock Nation. They they spend a lot of money and time and effort and energy for us in the fall and, and for other athletic teams throughout the year and I think it's important to come see the people. Kind of going off that, one of your guys' gems in state has been Brian Edwards. Kind of what have you seen from Brian so far in the off season? Kind of what do you expect from him uh, in year two? Well, we got to keep Brian healthy. That's that's the number one thing. He had some hamstring injuries there for Coach Jordan up to Conway and, uh, and, and certainly for us in his first year. But uh, when he's healthy, he's really good. He's an elite uh, receiver in our league. And uh, a guy that I'm extremely excited about. He's got a tremendous work ethic. He had the highest GPA uh, of our offensive players coming out of fall camp and, and was rewarded in spring practice for that. Uh, high character. Uh, just I'm glad he's a game cop. Is that one of the strengths of his team? You think you got a lot of depth there, it seems like, with him and Dubo? Well, receiver, I do. Spring. I think we got some quality depth to get Rodriguez Davis back, a guy I'm excited about. Uh, so we got some depth at the tight end position as well, and you got three quality backs that have all played at a high level in, in big time football. So that's a, those, those are all positives for us. Last year, kind of, you didn't know kind of who would be starting quarterback. You do this year, mm -hmm. kind of. How excited are you going into fall having Jake uh, under center and kind of the all offense, most of them being back right. as well. Well, I think the, the you know experience is really really good at that position at quarterback, and, and the talent level is really good at that position. So. We don't have as much depth as we'd like, but that is a situation we got to you know con continue to handle. But uh, I think the returning guys with the experience is good. We got to continue to make improvements on the offensive line, and I think our skill position guys I'm excited about. I know you said you got Javon Kinlaw in. What would you like about him? Just even going back to Goose Creek, you know, put together the plan for him, you know, to right. go Juco. Well, I think you know at the end of the day, uh, for what you know things happen for different reasons in life and Javon was a situation I knew we could enroll him at Jones Junior College uh, academically he needed to be in that environment and, and, and graduated uh, last week with over a 3.0 GPA matured tremendously during that time and I can't tell you how proud I am of him I've, I walked in the door he never met me in his life I talked to him on the phone four or five times and I talked to him about going to Ellisville Mississippi and uh, he went there and we had a lot of some long phone conversations at times uh, but really proud of him and, and what, where he is now. Uh, just uh, excited to get him on campus and, and, and uh, excited he's a game cop. Whether it's the uh, the recruiting or it's the uh, two a day, it's kind of your thoughts on the new uh, new rules changes heading into this year. Well, I mean, I, I think our, our practice format uh, will not have to be altered very much. I mean, as far as the contact and 
it will be a little different not having two a days, but we only had two or three, so it's not a huge deal for us. And we usually only use the one practice as a helmet. It's more of a mental practice and an emphasis on special teams. So I don't know that that's a huge deal. Um, you know, the recruiting changes are a little different. I really don't like the rules of the individual associated with a prospect. I think it limits high school coaches and their opportunities. Even to work a camp, speak at a clinic, you can't do any of that now. And uh, so that's a, that's a little frustrating, but uh, you know, other than that, it's, it's the rules. You got to follow them and move on.